Again, welcome to the Human Rights Campaign Annual Nashville Dinner. I want to say a quick thank you to a few people. To the local HRC governors, Chris Moore, Eric Patton, and Meredith Fortney. To our dinner co-chairs who are incredibly stressed out right behind the stage right now, Katie Warlick-Nipper and Brittany Smith. And hard work, lots of hard work there. And I want to congratulate, of course, our award winners tonight, the Belcourt Theater and the wonderful Jennifer Nettles. I've been around this dinner long enough to know that in the past we've arrived uh, worried about whether or not we were going to make progress. But as it has turned out, with the HRC's leadership and with a lot of hard work, we have made progress almost every single year that we arrive here for a dinner. But it wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't have happened without the HRC, and it frankly wouldn't have happened just in Tennessee. So national leadership on this issue has been critically important, and without the HRC, that certainly wouldn't have happened. Nashville should be a community that accepts and supports everyone, no matter who you love or how you identify. And we... And we need the HRC to help us in that regard, and we need everybody in this room to stick together and work together to make progress on that, on that front. Now, um, we have been considering in the mayor's office recently that we might build a wall around our county and get Williamson County to pay for it. But, but... But we decided there were better ways to go about it than building a wall. Dividing is never a good idea. Not a good idea. So uh, uh, this Wednesday will mark one year of my administration. And in that year, we have, I believe, accomplished a lot. Uh, for the first time ever, the city has, in the mayor's office, an LGBT liaison that reaches out and works with the community on a daily basis, Joseph Woodson. And in fact, and in fact, every Monday morning when the senior staff meets, 20% of the folks around the table come from the LGBT community. Because every day we focus on issues that are important to all folks in our town. Last month, I signed a historic executive order making, yes, making Nashville the first city in the South to track and recognize LGBT businesses for metro procurement because we know, we know that discrimination exists. We know that even in government, we might not be giving everybody a chance to a level playing field and to get, do business with the city. And that by starting that recognition and tracking, we will make progress in that in the coming years. Just a few weeks ago, we unveiled two historic mar markers for those older folks in the office, in the, in the audience who might rec remember the jungle or Juanita's place. We have recognized those. In November, we, for the first time in Nashville, recognized Nashville Trans Day of Remembrance, which was an important acknowledgement. The police department now has an LGBT liaison, Katie Poole, who works to make sure hard that, that every day. We've worked hard on ending the epidemic with a task force that, uh, that follows through on the work of Joe Interante over many years in our community. And in just a few days, we'll, or if we haven't done it already, David Frederick, who was the former board, care, board chair of Nashville, chair, Nashville Cares, will be named to our health department because we know that issues of LGBT health are important for the health department. And that took less than a year. 
there, are, there is much progress to be made in the coming years. There is much progress to be made in the coming years, but we can't do it unless we stick together and work as a team to do that. I'm grateful to the HRC on the national level, to the local and national LGBT chambers for helping us in this regard, to the Metro Council for their work in this regard, and I know they will be acknowledged again tonight but before I leave the stage, I do believe I need to acknowledge that we have two LGBT council members, Brett Withers and Nancy Van Rees. Could we give them a round of applause? And I am especially thankful to Patrick Hamilton, the Deputy Chief of Staff, and to Joseph Woodson, my Senior Legislative Advisor and Liaison to the LGBT community for keeping us focused on these important issues every single day. So um, they also told me I needed to say one thing that I didn't totally understand, probably because I'm 55, straight, white guy. but that I needed to show off my charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent tonight, and I hope I'm doing that okay. I don't know where Brooklyn Heights is in the contest anymore, but uh, I'll be glad to go see her again at play anytime soon. Our work isn't even close to finished, but together we're gonna make progress for this city, and I count on you to keep us moving forward. Thank you very much tonight.